So we're just out here in the wilderness again. Out here in the wilderness. We're picking, we're making a bushcraft camp. So option number one's over there is a clear spot, but uh, there's a pond over here, beaver pond. And I think that's where we're gonna go because then we'll have access to water. And then when we get around to it, we get our trapping license with all that good stuff. And we can actually get beaver out of the pond and eat them. You guys notice the t-shirt? Fish Lives Matter. That's available on the website. You can check it out. It's a little take on, well, it's Zach's idea because nobody cares about fish, but they do matter. They matter as much as anything else. So consider buying yourself a shirt, sponsor this. They're super premium, uh, super comfy. It's super warm too. In fact, probably have to take it off. It's so warm. It's perfect for sitting around, put the hood up and just chill out. Well, there's the beaver pond over here. Uh, it's not a very deep pond. It's, there's only minnows in it, but there's occasionally ducks and things like that that we can hunt later on. It's basically the idea for this outpost. And then uh, we can do some hare snaring. There'll be some hares in here too. Pretty sweet little spot. There's a low lying area in here. Um, see where Jerry's up ahead. He knows it probably better than I do. It's family property to him, uh, 200 acres. So we're taking over and uh, we're gonna make most use, most use of this place. Put up a base camp and we'll be able to do all sorts of things here. I hear him down over here, but he had a spot in mind where he thought he could overlook this kind of um, uh, ravine and whatnot. So we'll see what we decide. We'll find a spot eventually. It's crucial to pick the spot. You gotta do it kind of wisely. I hear him beating through the woods here. I better catch up. Kind of thinking about this spot here. Either right here where these little trees can get brushed out or maybe using these three big ones over here as corners for two walls and make a, like a triangular shape shelter. Option number two or three I guess would be the rock shelf over there. It's just a fallen tree. Oh. You put snow on it. Oh it looks like rock. It does yeah. No it's, there's uh, two or three trees in there which also are going to be good material if we want bigger logs right? So we got Jer's dog with us today. She made an appearance in the last episode, if you guys saw it or not. Adora? Yeah. Or Snoopy? Snoofy. Snoofy. <laughs> dog looks uh, like part wolf, 100%. If you saw it from a distance and you were uh, out in the woods, you would be scared. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wolf. She's uh, half Irish wolfhound. And then she's got a mix of Warima and Standard Poodle. <laughs> but she looks all Irish Wolfhound. Yeah. Pretty much. She likes to be outside, so... She loves it. Yeah. Built for it, too. Yeah. When she crashed our last party, like, we were already pretty good buds <laughs> then, but, like, I was her best friend after that. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? You guys go out and have fun with and have rabbit guns? Like... <laughs> Yeah, she ate all her, all the rabbits <laughs> left, we left over. She cleaned up camp for us. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So we got a lot of work ahead of ourselves, I guess. Oh yeah. We're gonna get this done. It's, it's probably gonna be a two day project for us, I think. Yeah. I feel like the location is probably the most important part of this whole thing. Cause you can't move it after, well you can move it after, you just don't want to move it after. Here's a nice flat spot over here. Ponds, uh, ponds back over here. You haven't, guys haven't figured out, we're just kind of running along the length of the pond and it gets really sprucey down in here. So good rabbit habitat. I don't know, I kind of like it over here. It's not as much of those live trees that we want to build off of here though. So, but there's lots of other materials. So we start cutting these spruce down, we'll have lots of tops to make a uh, nice sheltered area. Yeah, we'll see what come up with. They'll come up sometime with a chainsaw and block them up into firewood maybe or we'll do it with the handsaw it doesn't matter but for now we can uh, at least knock them down and get them out of the way and uh, start to shape this thing up i think we got a plan here we're going to use this area here we got the prevailing wind coming from this direction behind us so they'll be behind the shelter that the wall so the i mean you don't want to be in the wind but also we kind of do want to be in the wind because you want the smoke to blow out and the heat to be trapped in, if you get what I mean. So there's... 
there's one tree here and there's another tree here but this these two trees are a little too tight so we're we're going to cut this one out we use it as part of the structure and we'll go based on the next tree over here and then we're going to put a ridge pole over top of that and then we should be set and we got to cut we're going to cut everything behind here out and that's going to help us with our view to the pond uh when we get to that so let's get going Come on, eh? Yep. Okay. Keep down. Get out of the way. Come on. Go on. Go on. Is that a game? Go. 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 Get out of the way. <laughs> So the idea here is to make something we're both proud of at the end of it, right, Jer? Yeah. Have something to show for it. Yeah, something useful and uh, purdy. Party? Purdy. Purdy. Oh, purdy. I thought you said party. We can party here too. Yeah, we can have a party. <laughs> Three days. Three that's days. That's all I got left until uh, the end of the 100% wild food. So well, that's 20. That's 2019. So whenever you're watching this, it's probably over by now. Yeah, yeah. I'll so already have had a beer and some potato chips. And the, and this will be. This will be out, yeah, yeah. out to there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll be the big wild year 2020. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep teasing, Jer. The big belly year. He's planning on sticking to uh, paleo so he can add some modern foods in back. Yeah. And then see how it goes. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I've already advised to go easy on it, but check out his channel. Oh, yeah. See if he gets bloated. <laughs> I guaranteed New Year's Eve is going to be... Ill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, New Year's Day, definitely. Yeah. New Year's Eve will be... It'll hit them a little later, but I don't know. I find like if I eat any kind of carb after a long time not eating carbs, especially after the challenges, it just blow it up like a balloon. So I'm, at a year, it's going to take a while to adjust back into it. Yeah. What are you doing to that log, Jerry? Moving it? I was going to start to line it up so we cut it to the right length. Oh, you're but just... maybe what a smart guy would do is measure <laughs> it with this skinny one, <laughs> cut it over there, and then carry the small piece over. Well, so drag the big one over and measure it with that. <laughs> We, we got a lot of work. We got to be careful about how we spend our energy. We'll get a get a wild meal going at some point in time here. Yeah, well, we got lots of branches to burn. Right? Yeah, we don't want to start the fire just yet because it gets kind of smoky, but... And plus, we'll be tripping on over it. Once we get this kind of bedroom area set up, then we can light a fire and just keep throwing the branches on there, burn all the snow out. One thing we didn't bring is a shovel. Could have used a shovel. Yeah. But we got to come back tomorrow anyway, so... It's probably not shovelable anyway. It's pretty compact. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty icy and branchy, right? So yeah, it's hard to scoop it. With time, it, it's, this area is just going to continue to improve with use. I mean, it comes becomes more, I don't know, more homey. I think. Yeah. The more time you spend here, yeah. you can keep adding features like fire pit and all sorts of different projects. Yeah, hopefully, it's good. hopefully we keep keep at it. Lots of wild game around here too, which is I don't know, good feature. Ducks yeah. out here. Yeah. And beaver. Yeah. Muskrat probably too, right? The odd one. Yeah. Odd, yeah. Yeah, and you get otters, you get foxes, we get coyotes and wolves. There's what we gotta do is encourage the beavers to make a giant dam and then you have a big pond in there and then you can put trout in it. Then what we should do is we should clear cut all of these conifers so it comes up in poplar. Right. And then the beavers will come because there's no food for them here, right? Well let's do that. Let's make a long term project. I'm gonna say Do you want some trout in there? Just there say are, yes, I, are, I'll there, get you some. Well, there are already trout in this oh, system. So it just needs to be deeper then? Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to say five years ago, there were beaver trails coming up like 80 meters from the water yeah. to get food. Right, because the food had moved back. Yeah. So it needs to be pruned out. Like, you know where we were trapping the hares in the last video? Mm -hmm. and there was all those poplars, they're like this big around. Yeah. They were coming all the way over there to get those. So they're super vulnerable, right? Yeah. But they didn't last long like that. Yeah. Well, maybe that's something to do. And then once you cut all those trees and drop them down, then the hairs move in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they love all that blow down area. Yeah. And then all the new spruce that come off for the cover and then the browse and the feed. Yeah. So, hey, long term project going on here. Yeah. This well, is Jeremy's family's property. So, I think sometimes your best approach is hands off. 
but then like there are definitely some things you can do that really enhance habitat. yeah i think you got to touch it every once in a while yeah. like human human disturbances definitely do improve habitat for wildlife as long as you don't turn it into like a cornfield yeah when it's there's only one animal that can live in it and it's like a raccoon and a deer yeah well two <laughs> i can't count today <laughs> Anyway, that's a nice break. So let's uh, let's get a ridge pole or something up there. You don't want to lift up the big the big fat end here. It doesn't look that big, but it, it it's pretty heavy. Yeah, and it's alive. And it's green wood, yeah. Yeah, green wood's Ooh. particularly heavy. We don't want too small of a ridge pole, right? You no, know, like we we can always cut off what we don't want later. So like add a, yeah. whatever we want to lift up. Yeah. Put it that way. Okay. Well, let's cut it there and then we'll cut some of that skinny stuff off the end after. Okay. Okay, I'll get this off. Is this the silky? Yeah. The silky katana boy? It is. It's way over bigger? Yeah. <laughs> We've used this in a bunch of videos. Well, not before I started using the, this camera. So that was like two years ago. Yeah. I don't think I've really seen it. Um, Nobody knows how big your saw is, Jerry. <laughs> well, if people go back to our minus 40 degrees fishing videos, yeah, but those are old, old. Old, old? Like three years old? Yeah, like two or over two. I had this then. This is a new blade. Yeah. I put a new blade on it in the meantime, but we were cutting down those big cedar trees with it. Yeah, I can cut a big tree. But the thing you got to know about the saw is you don't push it, you pull it. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it cuts on the pull. But it cuts nice. Like if you want to go out with a light saw and build a log cabin, um, Probably not a bad bet right here. Let's see if I can do this all with one hand. It's pretty heavy. Is that enough? No. no. One thing you will notice about the saw that I don't particularly like is the hand grip. Because your hand is kind of in a, a natural position when it's like this. Whereas with the, the bow saw, your hand is kind of push-pull and it's like, you know, how your hand wants to go. So that's the only thing that's different about that. And then the other thing, of course, is you have to, if you push and when you're cutting, it wants to bend the saw and you don't want to do that. You could have waited, Jer. For what? <laughs> you're so eager to go. All right, I'll put the saw down and actually do some work. Stop talking. Limited time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Throw that over there. How much more do you want? No, that's good there. That's good there. Okay. I'll just hold it. Okay. And then we don't have to we don't have to be heroes about it. Okay. Probably. Probably a little higher. Yeah, because it's gonna sag after the rope uh is done, right? And the snow's gone too. Yeah. Had it all cut up for a scouts group to do some wrapping and frapping workshops. You wanna, you wanna back up and check? Yeah. <laughs> it looks level from here. Um, it looks really good right there. It's a little bit high on that end. I'll start it up a touch because it'll probably settle in there. That looks really good, Jer. <laughs> we got a start of a something. Yeah. There, one full. Let's go have a lunch break. Yeah, two hours. Two hours work already in there. Now that we got the basic design, the rest is just gonna fly though. <laughs> <laughs> this is the critical pole. <laughs> Good? Yeah, I'm gonna sit down a little bit so. What kind of knot's that? Uh, it's a reef knot. A reef knot. Okay, so we got our ridge pole. And then we have to clear everything back because we got to drop it down this way. We might be able to get our sit down here, Jer. If we keep this in, we can maybe make the we can maybe get the bed in there. Oh yeah. Like maybe maybe you don't want to cut this off too tight, too yeah. short, and we can use it as one of the supports. 
yeah. because we actually do have it here even if it's not perfect it can just go here and then the rest can come out join it yep. right and then it, it would sit out of the shelter a little bit but that's fine yeah and then over here the same like we can go from here to here and we're all set like this is actually work works out better than i thought i had thought that we might cut two of those bigger spruces that are already fallen and lay them down as the two edges and then just put the bed on top of those we could do that, that too gets it like 10 inches off the but it will never be we'll sturdy. never get it well i can level it in the summer when there's when yeah. i can put sand under we it. can level it here now yeah we can make a hundred percent now well if we, all, if we dig all the snow out no because we're going to be above the snow oh yeah but it's all going to settle oh i see what you mean yeah, just yeah. tree to tree yeah tree to tree here tree to tree there yeah and then of course it sits back far enough but you don't have to put the bed all the way out to here just stop yeah. wherever you want yeah this will be our main structure we're going to go from here to there for our roof and then we're going to go from here to there for the bed frame so we got to get rid of this one is in the way that one's probably in the way as well and then this we're gonna to have to figure out what to do with maybe cut it off high and that doesn't make any sense probably just cut it right off cut it out make turn it into firewood and dry it out and that'd be a, the way to go oh jerry wants to see even more progress he wants to see what the roof pitch looks like oh fancy schmancy oh we're gonna go way out there too yeah oh geez got a covered overhang for kind of work in and whatever and then you got your fire pit right in front there wow it reflects off the roof and the back of the wall amazing and you got water ac water access what do you want yeah. i'm not playing with you i'm just pointing that way waterfront property yeah you saw a dock out there dam it up yeah how come we didn't cut this one out yet <laughs> there's a lot of stuff we didn't do just properly some challenges here for ourselves yeah extra right. extra bits I think we just cut whatever for the roof and then we start really paying attention like carefully select the ones for the bedding yeah. right like pick some specific trees because right now it doesn't really matter so the committee had a giant meeting meeting is adjourned what we're going to do is we're going to go from the front uh we've got the ridge pole that's going to go back here to the birch tree here and that's going to form our uh our bed bottom um this is going to be hard to explain you're probably just gonna have to watch it unfold <laughs> anyway yeah follow follow along anyway and then we're gonna do the back one over here so we're gonna go uh across across and then across so that way we can make our bedding just right if we go long ways we have to get like a bunch of different ones that are all the same size and i do realize that it's kind of it's going to be kind of all ob oblonged or odd shaped not a square but you're not going to see it because when we're done it's um it's all going to be hidden back here and then we're going to use the back walls to do another second uh ridge i don't know what do you call that uh hip hip roof kind of deal i don't know <laughs> so it's going to drop down to another so that we can use all the way to the back so basically what we have to do is we have to get our bottom uh bed uh pretty low to the ground because by the time we do two stacks up we're going to be pretty high and we don't want to hit a roof and we're going to be able to sleep all the way to the back because that's where the most seat's going to be trapped anyway it's going to be easier to see as we get going pretty good slope should be good enough and uh, like we'll do a log roof, but we'll probably try and waterproof it with something, right? Yeah, well, we're gonna have to use, I mean, we'll do with our best that we can with spruce today. Yeah. See what it looks like. Yeah. It'll be all right for the winter, but not Might once it starts. Bark shingle it. That would be interesting. Bark shingle. Yeah. yeah. That'd be something. Future upgrade. Yeah. All right, you wanna back up, level that? Oh, we want this one. No. This one? Yeah. No, that's too big. Back a little bit, maybe. We want to make it this big? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because your bed's going to take up most of the space, but you want to be able to sit under the cover still, maybe at work, right? Okay, sure. I don't know. And if you want two people, <clears throat> maybe side by each in there. You can fit a family in here now. Yeah. We got Perfect. bigger. Perfect. We got ambitious. We upgraded. Um, Back up over here so you can check. Somebody's going to tell us we should get rid of that birch tree first. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. How come we jumped to this so quick? I don't know. We wanted to see some progress. Yeah. <laughs> Too much cut and not enough doing. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, we'll be able to cut that birch tree without hitting, hitting anything. Maybe we'll just cut it off and high and leave it inside as a hat rack. <laughs>
We're gonna fight over who gets to sleep near the birch tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. That's sharp, you know. You probably shouldn't put your nose there. Yeah. What do you want? You're smart and dumb at the same time. Jeez. Hey, dummy. Go hunt something. Go get us a rabbit. Yeah. Speaking of which, are we cooking soon? Are you hungry? No, but we should get a good fire bed going. Yeah, we could start a fire. Start piling stuff up in that open, open space. Yeah, and then eventually we'll move it over here after. But yeah, that's not a bad idea. I don't know about cooking something. It's going to take a while. Well, if we're cooking the hair, we want it to take a while. Yeah, are we going to tend it? Well, like keep it on the edge of the coals. All right, we can try. And like try and simmer it for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. We got time. Yep, we do have that. I just wanted to get rid of these. Two things there. The dog jumps right in the fire pit as soon as you make it. We're making a fire. Fire. Do you know what fire is? You a big dummy? Do you know? No, I don't want to kiss. I just talking to you. Anyway, we're gonna make a fire right there where the dog's stepping. Maybe we'll get a hair cleaned up, cook it up. We gotta get rid of some of this brush anyway. So put it over here. The wind should go that way, so it's not gonna be blowing in our faces while we continue to build. We got lots of brush. We just keep stacking it up. Where nice... are we gonna get some birch bark? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Where's the birch bark? Oh yeah, it's in the fort. What are we calling this? Bushcraft. The bushcraft super shelter fort. Super shelter. Oh yeah, you have to put plastic at the front to call it a super shelter. Oh, is that what you need? I don't know. We could put plastic at the front. <laughs> we could. You seen those shelters where they put the plastic in the front? And it's supposed to heat it up, and then they turns into a sauna and they're like, oh, it's too hot in here. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it looks too hot in there. This stuff burns really well. Dry spruce needles. You don't have to go very far for it either. Oh. It's all right here. No, there's birch bark in here somewhere. There it is. There we go. One match fire? Yeah, one match. <laughs> is it gonna go? I think so. <laughs> Everything's pretty dry. It should go. There's a breeze feeding it. I didn't put that much birch bark in though. Yeah, I'm a little questioning the amount of birch bark. I think it went out. What? No, oh, I didn't reach the rest of the birch bark. No. It didn't get the, the nucleus. Too much fire. The nucleus of the fire. Me down in the middle. There might be a bit. It's close. There might be enough birch bark. I always go, I always go excessive okay. amounts. Yeah. Excessive. Especially in the winter. Get in trouble for that. I don't care. Get some shelter birch bark here. Like we should save this for an emergency, but we won't. I'll just, just throw it in there right now. Just, there's lots of birch barks, birch birch barkers, birch trees. All right, let's load this fire up. Getting there. Fire keeps going out as the flames die down because the tops are, you know, they're bowy. 
there's no touch and then of course the fire gets down into the snow and then it melts and then it puts it out. Gone out like three times so far but once we get it all burned down to the ground it'll stay and then the bed of coals will stay. Then we can maybe cook something. The sun came out, that's nice. Yeah we can always trim them off later. But that looks good. Because if there's an overhang at the back it could have a big pile of firewood too. There you go. All right. Grab uh, half of this one here. The back wall. Okay. One more. No, oh, one back log. One back log. Roof pieces here. Two roof pieces. Yeah, we got the the bed thing kind of straightened out. So it's going to be semi-temporary. We just have the uh, logs that go across here, and it's sitting on the ground for now. Um, when the snow all melts, we'll come back and fix it. It's kind of floating anyway. It's not really attached to the upper ceiling or anything like that. So we uh, look like we're in good shape here. Sixty more trees we figure to get all the way across plus the back wall be another yeesh probably about 20 trees but we can do bigger trees at the back because it's just carry the weight all the way up we don't want to put a ton of weight on the top so we're using smaller trees which are cover less distance anyway it's a lot of work maybe we'll start to target some dead standing trees because they yeah. weigh about fifth as much as these live ones. True, but they're not as strong. So maybe uh, they don't need to be as strong, I don't know. No, they don't need to be super strong. Like they'll have to hold some snow load, but only over that short span. 60 more trees. 59 more trees. <laughs> Just kind of move it and add the bit as we need to go and then I'll tie it, tie it off for good when it's all done. Finally got all that snow burnt out. 
that's a fire now. Not a cooking fire yet, but <laughs> we'll get there by the end of the day, I'm sure. Tedious work? Yeah. We should have had a pot of tea on the fire. Something. Have a little tea break or a fondue or a big slab of bacon. A hot dog and a marshmallow? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> big rack of venison ribs. Uh, hamburger I'll I go for. I got a pile of those in the freezer. Yeah, why aren't they out here? Because they're in the freezer. <laughs> Better come prepared tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do some cooking. There's two hairs over there on the tree. Yeah. I'm just hanging out. Somebody's got to cook them. Doable. There we go. Looking all right. We got, I think, 43 up there right now. Obviously, you can still see through it. That's the pitfall of making these bushcrafty shelters. It's almost 100% going to leak unless you put like three or four feet of stuff on top, especially with the materials we have around here. You could, uh, you know, plant some grass up there and throw a bunch of dirt first, and you'd be all set. Maybe you'd have a living roof at some point, and then it would just rot out. Anyway, probably gonna have to throw a tarp up there, is what I'm getting at. Because uh, it looks a lot worse like that, but it looks a lot better like that. Just change the angle a little bit But uh, when you're looking up you can 100% see all the gaps, but that's 43 and we have uh, Maybe 10 or 12 left. So Jeremy's just working on that right now And then we have the whole bottom still to do and the back wall and the side walls But I think those are gonna go quicker because we don't have to take the small sticks Because we don't have to worry about weight so much so we can actually cut like a, a gigantic tree and then just stand it up. So pretty much like one really tall tree or two tall trees, or like really thick ones, beefcakey ones along the back wall, the side wall. So, I mean, we should be able to do that in like an hour or two, but of course we thought we could get this done, mostly done in one day anyway. But, you know, here we are <laughs> halfway done or so. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe a, a little bit over halfway. We still have the whole bottom to do, and that's a concern because we don't want to have a bunch of pokey, sticky things, and we don't want sappy things either to sleep on. Yeah. So we have to choose those a little bit more wisely. So Jeremy's been, uh, every time he comes across one that's really ideal for it, he cuts one and then throw the rest up top. So we only just started that. We'll get the rest of this roof up here, and I think that's still going to be a quits for today. We'll come back tomorrow. And uh, you guys will see the rest of the video. Maybe we'll actually eat something tomorrow. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure we're gonna eat something? Yeah. Well, we got, I got fish. I got the hares to cook. So, I mean, we got lots of options. Eat it all. Eat, eat all of it, just cook it all day and eat it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, we'll call it a constructing cook. Constructing cook. Instead of a catching cook. <laughs> catching cook, yeah. Yeah, because we didn't catch anything this time. No. But we can cook it and eat it.